Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you a Thanksgiving pre-clean and prep. I'm gonna tell you what, this video, um, it was just a little bit of a struggle to get together and I'm gonna tell you why. It's a long story and it's a long video so I've got time to tell you. So normally I kind of like to try to like write some things down so I have like some points to make during the video and this is all over the place. This is one of those days where I had everything in mind, everything that I wanted to do and I was gonna come home, do all of the things, get everything cleaned up and get everything on my list that I wanted to get done. And that's just not how this went. Um, I've got a ton of cleaning in here, a ton of motivation. I hope you're here for it. If you guys are getting ready for Thanksgiving, if you've got company coming and you're just trying to get everything picked up and in order for that company, then this is gonna be the video for you if you wanna play it on your phone, on your TV, your laptop, desktop, however you want to and clean along with me. I'm gonna have so much motivation for you. It's it's just silly. It's silly the amount of motivation that I've got for you today, but I'm going to go ahead and get into kind of the story and I hope that um, this voiceover is not as chaotic as it's probably going to sound in my head and as chaotic as maybe this video is going to be, but I came home, like I said, and there were some things that I wanted to get done first and foremost. And to an extent, that did happen. I went ahead and started in the living room. I wanted to get all of Bodie's stuff picked up. I wanted to get everything dusted, vacuumed, all that good stuff. Then I wanted to um, move on to the kitchen, get everything cleaned out of the kitchen. I needed to kind of like touch everything. So we're not going to have a whole bunch of people here for Thanksgiving. It's just going to be me, Reuben, his mom, his sister, Reuben's daughter. My boys are going to come over, you know, just the usual, not a whole big shebang, okay? But I did want to make sure that I had everything nice and clean and I have to work all week and I wanted to, you know, get everything done to where I wasn't freaked out. You know what I'm saying? You know that feeling that, you know that feeling, okay? So I, um, I got home and I started to get everything done. Oh, back to what I was saying. I told you it was going to be chaotic, okay? Um, so anyway, while I started to do all these things, Buddy decided he was going to throw up right there in the middle of my carpet. Sorry if that disgust you. Um, but I kept it far away anyways. So I was like, you know what? I wasn't planning on shampooing my carpets for this video, but here we are. I guess we're going to do it. I know that I had to immediately get to it because if you have a pet and they vomit and you are on carpet, you know that it's going to stain. Like if you don't get that up immediately, it's going to stain. And I was like, oh my gosh, let's just go ahead. Let's get these carpets cleaned. And that way it's done. We've had some rain here lately. And I know that Bodie's feet have been dirty coming in and out of the house. And I said, you know what? It's going to need it anyway. Let's just go ahead and hit this carpet. But that's not what I had planned. And this literally just set off the entire mood for this video. I didn't plan on taking two days to film this video, but it took me two days to film this video. By the time I got done doing everything on this day, it was like 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. And I still had my work clothes on. I hadn't been to the restroom. I hadn't eaten anything. And I was like, okay, we got to lay it down for the day. We got to just go ahead and go to bed. We'll get right back at it tomorrow. So that's exactly what happened. And since I already had the carpet shampoo out, I was like, let me just go ahead and hit the bedroom as well, because it's been a while since I've cleaned the carpets in there. So actually that didn't end up happening until the next day. And what I wanted to do was because people were coming over and you know, the holidays, you kind of need more space like for food and extra things like that. So I really wanted to get into my pantry and make sure that everything was cleaned out of there. I just did like a big pantry clean out. So I knew it wasn't bad, but I also knew that sometimes we just throw stuff in there without putting it where it needs to go. So I wanted to make sure that was straightened up. I wanted to make sure that Anything that was in the refrigerator that needed to go out, I got that out and made sure that that was all wiped down too. So we are like hitting everything in the house today. So like I was saying, if you need the motivation, this is definitely going to be the motivation for you. So I also wanted to clean my couch. So unfortunately, that did not happen. Um, <laughs> The idea that I had, I'm, I'm going to tell you the idea that I had because I've seen it. Okay. I know it can, I know it can work. I just haven't been able to do it yet. So I've talked to you guys about the little green machine. I don't feel like it has the suction power that I want for it. And I also just hate dousing it with water. Like if I use my big shampooer here and um, take off the attachment and use it that way, I just don't feel like it does the job. Also, 
I promise you that's not um, duty in the bottom of my toilet. It's one of those stains that I can't get out. I'm sorry, but I just felt like I needed to tell you. But look how nasty that water is. That's just so gross. Okay, so back to the couch. And I'm also afraid of taking off the covers to the seat cushions because the last time I did that, um, there's there was a hole in it when I took it out of the dryer. And I was like, I'm not doing that again because next time I take them out, they're going to be in shreds and then I'll have to buy a new um, couch and I don't want to do that. So my thought was I was going to get my little steamer, okay? I was going to get my steamer. I was going to put hot water in the steamer. I was going to put a little bit of vinegar in there. Then I was going to take me like a, um, look how gross that is. Sorry. Then I was going to take a microfiber cloth and put it over the end of the steamer and then steam my couch with that and then use the microfiber cloth to get the dirt off. Does that make sense? Let me know if you think that'll work. I think it'll work. I just didn't have the time to do it in this video. Anyway, so after I cleaned the carpets, I went ahead and got out all of this beautiful dog hair that Bodie loves to leave me. And speaking of dog hair, Bodie is actually going to be getting a bath in this video and you're going to get to see that. And also, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave in because when I was editing the, the early part of this, I remembered, well, I didn't remember, I forgot actually that I sang to him while I was giving him a bath. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave that in. I'm going to let you listen to that because truth be told, I've, you know, people have said that I sound like a mixture of, um, Celine Dion and Beyonce. So I'm going to give you that free concert. I'm going to let you hear me sing into Bodie while I give him a bath and you can see it in his face how much he just thoroughly enjoys it. Um, so yeah, that's literally this, this whole process. I've never tried to clean my house and everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Um, at one point I was doing a load of laundry and put the detergent in the fabric softener spot and I had to rewash those clothes all over again because they were, um, like sticky. It's just, you know, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen to me. And I'm just going to be here to tell you all the stories about it. So I'm going to quit talking about all of this for now. Um, just in case you kind of didn't want to hear all of that and you want to hear some music to clean with. A lot of you guys say that you would much rather hear me talk and tell you all of my weird stories. And believe me, I've got more. So don't you worry, I'll be back with more. But I'm going to go ahead and play some music just in case you need that for a pick me up. And um, we're going to get into this kitchen. This kitchen was gross, you guys. Baby, does he know it? Does it tell you you're gorgeous? Does it bring you flowers? And can you see that you're flawless? Cause you are in yeah, you are something he don't know That he should treat you like you're royal But I'll be here when your heart breaks When, when your heart breaks I'll be here when your heart breaks When your heart breaks, 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 baby can you see it? Just kick back, think it over. We could be so perfect. I just want you to know that. Cause you are irreplaceable. Yeah, you are something he don't know. That he should treat you like you're royal. But I'm Yeah. 
So when I was cleaning the oven, I forgot that I was out of my scrub daddy paste and I had not been back to Target to get any more and I used just a little SOS cleaning pad and that really did the trick. My oven honestly wasn't too horribly dirty to begin with so that truly did help out a lot. And as I was bringing everything back into the living room because the carpet was dry, I literally felt like I ripped my entire toe off on this couch right there. I wanted to scream. But I didn't. I didn't. I'm telling you, anything and everything that could have happened while trying to film this video literally happened to me. So we woo sawed it out and we just kept on moving. My toe was still there and it's still there. It's a little bit bruised, but it's still there. So <laughs> also I wanted to tell you that little clip that I was showing you um, of how cold it was. It was 38 degrees outside. I have my windows open when I was doing this because I was so hot. If any of you guys out there are going through menopause like I am and you have those hot flashes, there's just like literally nothing you can do about it. You just have to literally just wait it out. It's like a volcano from the inside out and you just can't get cool. And that's exactly what was happening to me. And I was trying not to think about it because nine times out of 10, if I just try to focus on something else, then it'll go away a lot faster. But I was just thinking about, Again, everything that was going wrong and it just would not go away. So I had my windows open and Bodie actually loved it. He loves the cold weather. So he kept going to the window and just sitting there and he could hear, we had some deer in the backyard. He could hear them running around back there too. So he was loving it. But um, we're going to get in here and get the rest of this living room done. I, like I said, I was trying to touch everything. The only things that I didn't do that I honestly forgot, I wanted to clean the ceiling fans and do that in this video for you guys for some motivation, but I did not get to it um, in this video, but I have cleaned them since filming this. So I do feel better about that. And I also wanted to let you know that once I got the living room clean, I ended up using the new Yankee Candle little scent melts that I got. Um, if you guys watch my vlog channel, the last vlog that I did, I showed you those where I picked those up at Walmart. And um, if not, if you're not, subscribe to that or if you had no idea that I had a vlog channel it's in the description box I would love for you to check it out um but yeah honestly actually honestly actually that's not a thing I'm gonna say this and I don't want it to sound bad but I'm almost glad that it's about time for me to take down these fall decor 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 de decorations because this little vase of leaves is getting on my last nerve. I can't for the life of me get those things to sit up straight. And every time I look at them, I just want to take them and put them away. Um, but I don't because they're pretty. So I'm really, really excited to be able to take this stuff down. And um, the next things that I'm going to be doing is, you know, Santa Claus is coming to town. So I'm going to be getting out all the Christmas decor and getting all of that stuff set up. I do think that I'm going to put the tree upstairs this year and, um, I'm probably going to go back and get some of those beads, the garland beads that I showed in the vlog. I think I'm going to go back and get some of that stuff too. I'm just really excited for Christmas this year. And my kids are grown, so I don't even know why, but I'm really excited for Christmas this year. Being the change instead of fighting it, really going to bright the night. I'm going to hell and back by doing that Always gonna be alright I'm on the edge, not falling If you're not calling, I'm gonna be just fine And I guess naturally You might find me six feet on the ground
it's not falling If you're not calling, I'm gonna be just fine And I guess naturally you might find me six feet on the ground So I would actually like to know what are some of y'all's favorite traditions like for Christmas or Thanksgiving. We have the best, and I'm saying the best stuffing for Thanksgiving. Reuben's mom makes this stuffing. I can't even explain it to you. I probably should film it one time just so you guys can see it. Literally, that's the only, like if we could only have one thing for Thanksgiving, I would choose this stuffing. It is so amazing. It's so delicious. I, I just, I love it so much. I also love like the little finger foods and snacks that we make, like we do the sausage balls and little ham sandwiches and the little cocktail weenies. All of that stuff to me is just the best part of any holiday and we have them every single year. I just love it. But I'm going to clean out this microwave. Now, I think I've told you this story before, but once I get this microwave cleaned out, I'm going to show you an after and you're going to be like, well, Mandy it's not clean. I can see like a couple of, you know, places in there. Well, that's not food. It's not dirt. They are um, spark marks. That's just what I'm going to say. So a long, long time ago, like 11, 12 years ago, when Ruben and I were just dating, we had been out one evening and we came back to the house and a couple of friends came back with us. And we were just hanging out playing cards and stuff like that. And I had gotten one of those, it's like the frozen daiquiri things that you can get like in the freezer section, but they're in like one of those, like a juice box pouch. Does that make sense? And it was like frozen solid. And I apparently could not wait for it to thaw so I could drink it. And I was like, well, I'm just going to throw it in the microwave for a few seconds and, you know, get it started. Don't do that. Don't do that because sparks were flying. I dang near caught the house on fire. I didn't think about it, okay? I didn't think that that stuff was going to catch on fire, but it did. So if you guys ever want to thaw one of those out, just sit it in the sink like a normal person. See back there? There's a couple little places and then right there on the right-hand side. Yeah, that's not food or dirt. That's Those are my spark marks. Um, maybe Santa Claus will bring me a new microwave for Christmas. That'd be nice. Actually, I have a list. I have a long list. I would love a new microwave, a new refrigerator, a new bedroom suit, and some new floors. But, you know, just little things like that. Uh, you guys are going to have to let me know what you want for Christmas, too. Not that I'll be able to get everybody everything. Um, I just like to see where people's heads are at, you know? I don't, I don't know. I'm just nosy. I would love a new vlogging camera and an iPad. Those are my things. So, Apple, if you're listening, let me know. You know, I'll, I'll give you my address. You can send me a, a PR package and I will make a video on it every day for the rest of the year. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do laundry now. I've got so many Moo Moo's. If you guys know how happy it makes me to get a new Moo Moo and the way to my heart, like it doesn't take much. So the other day, well, actually it was like a week and a half ago, um, Reuben came home. He had been out and he's like, I got your present. And I was like, yeah. And he hands me this bag, and it was those two new Christmas Moo Moo's right there. I have never felt so much love for him than I did in that moment. I was so excited. You guys, I have like an entire drawer dedicated to my Moo Moo's. That is three-fourths of the laundry that I'm folding right now are Moo Moo's. All of those. They're just the most amazing things ever. And 
I can't get enough of them. Anytime a new one comes out, I'm going to get one. They are just the best things. If you are a Moo Moo lover, let me know. Um, but yeah, we're going to get laundry done. I still have so much to do, y'all. It's still almost like just like halfway through the video. We still have my singing concert to come up. We still have Bodie's bath. I've still got the um, carpets to shampoo in the bedroom. I've still got the, the bathroom to clean. We've got so much stuff coming. I'm so glad that y'all are here. Thank you so much for literally coming and supporting me and watching my videos and listening to me rant. It means so stinking much to me. It makes me so happy. Um, but anyway, I got the little... Um, little. I got the blankets out of the wash and out of the dry. Those are clean. Those smell good. I've also put the kitchen rugs into the washer. Those are getting clean too. The only thing I didn't wash is Bodie's bed. I actually did that last week, so it really didn't need it again, but that's probably going to have to be done next week as well. Um, and these carpets in this bedroom, man alive. They have not looked this good in so long, and you're going to see how dirty dirty, dirty, dirty that water was when I got finished. I waited all my life for someone like you to show Now that you're mine, it's so hard to take things slow Oh Don't wanna wait another day, don't wanna fire to fade to glow We're going under the weather, harder than ever, higher than high we go Until we get it right 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 Spending all my days wishing I was someone else now the tables are turned and I climb right out as well. Oh, someone granted my plea like a coin in a wishing well. We're going under the weather, harder than ever, higher than high we go. Scream and shout, keep it up all night. I wanna scream and shout, keep it up all night. I wanna scream and shout, keep it up all night. Until we get it right. Until we get it right. So the kitchen is finally done and I wanted to move on to the bathroom and get that cleaned, but I was like, there is no point in me cleaning this bathroom until after I have given Bodie a bath. And I knew that I wanted to do this earlier and I was like, okay, let's just go ahead and change the clothes, get him in here, get him scrubbed down. He was, um, he was, you know, he's an indoor dog. He doesn't get like really dirty except for like his feet, 
But I did want to make sure that I gave him a really good bath so that when people came over, he smelled nice and clean. I did use some Dawn dish soap to just get him really, really clean. And it is safe. I have checked with his vet and he said it was fine. And then I followed that up with some of his regular shampoo. So he was really soft and smelled really, really good. But I'm just going to go ahead and let you hear this concert uh, that I was talking about. And you guys tell me. I, I mean, I hear it. A little Beyonce, a little Celine. Can't keep my eyes from you. You're just too good to be true. You think like hell and you trust. Watching this over again and watching his face, I have laughed so hard. It is This is like the fourth time I have had to do this voiceover because I just crack up laughing. He, uh, oh my gosh, he is just the sweetest thing. So you're going to see, obviously, when I get done, that he's going to run around like crazy. I think all dogs do that. But when he's in the bathtub, he will sit. And he is so calm and so polite. And that never happens because he's literally just a psycho. Um... That's just when I can kiss on him and love on him because otherwise he's just running all over the place. And I really do enjoy this time when I'm able to give him a bath. It's backbreaking work. Don't get me wrong um, because it takes a long time. He's a big boy and he's got a lot of acreage to cover, but uh, he's just the, oh gosh, he's just the sweetest thing. And um, also, I know somebody's going to ask me about the gloves. They're just the nitrile gloves and I use them because they attract hair and it helps get a lot of that um, dead hair off of him. And it does, a, it does, you know, wreak havoc on my sink or my tub. But I do get all the hair out. Don't worry. I'll show you. It's disgusting. Um, but yeah, it, it helps me get all of that hair off of him and give him a really good scrub. He's just the cutest. He just looks like a little white seal. God, I love that little turd. <laughs> Leave your shirt on the floor There's no reason to get up There's a print on your cheek From my wrinkly pillow There's a smile from the view of the window Your lips disappear from your toothpaste Spend time cutting marks on your fingers Let's lay here and waste our time I'm gonna love you like crazy Waste our time
I used that new Scrubbing Bubbles shower foam cleaner that I got and it did a really really good job I really do like it everything was shiny it smelled really really good too and I also went ahead and used it on my sink um, I don't really think that chemicals know what they're doing or where they're being sprayed but it did a good job on my sink too so double the pleasure double the fun I'm gonna get my money's worth out of it and again it did a good job and it smelled nice so I'm going to get this toilet and everything else cleaned this is like the bathroom that's in the hallway upstairs this is the one that I use mainly but I knew that if people obviously are going to be here that's probably going to be the restroom that they use so I wanted to make sure that all of that was clean I had my rug in the washer too so that got done I did do the floor but I honestly don't think I got that filmed for some reason because I can't find the footage of it. I probably did set my camera up and just didn't hit record because that happens a lot. Um, <laughs> you just get in the moment and you start doing stuff and you don't think about it sometimes. And that's exactly what happened, I think, in that case. But um, I do have like some ideas. Remember when I was saying that I wanted to redo this bathroom, but I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do yet? Um, I had a company reach out to me and wanted me to do like a collaboration with them. And they do have literally like the cabinet that I've been looking for, for my bathroom. And hopefully that's going to work out and I will be able to do a collaboration with them and be able to use that cabinet in here because I'm just really excited. I'm ready like really ready to get this bathroom done. I'm tired of looking at the walls with all the nail holes in them that I need to paint over and get cleaned up. But I'm going to be honest with you, you know, doing this whole voiceover and editing this video made me tired all over again, rather than the two days that it took me to clean it. But I really do hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you stuck through the whole thing, this is probably like the longest video that I have had out. I did so much stuff and to be honest and look back at it, it doesn't feel like I did a lot of stuff, but I did. I think it was just because of everything else that happened. But this is what everything looked like when I got done. The kitchen is nice and clean. All of my carpets look amazing. Everything smells good. And honestly, after everybody gets here and we start cooking dinner for Thanksgiving, it's going to look like a tornado came through it and that's perfectly fine. That way I can just go ahead and clean it again. But after that, I know that I'm going to be able to get ready for Christmas and start decorating for that. I know in the YouTube world, I'm really, really behind on that. But I just, I, I can't see myself decorating for Christmas before Thanksgiving ever even if it's for a video. Um, but I hope you guys come back for that. Again, thank you so very much for being here today and supporting me and watching this video. Let me know if you liked it by giving it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already before you go. But I love you and appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Oh, don't want to wait another day. Don't want to fire to fade to glow.